today's video where we'll be diving into the fascinating world of radio technology with the Hackorf One Porter Pack 2. This device, often overlooked, is a powerful and versatile radio that operates from 1 MHz to 6 GHz. Stick around as we uncover the features and capabilities of this unique gadget. The Hackorf One Porter Pack H2 is a duplex radio meaning it can be used for both receiving and transmitting signals. However, it's essential to note that it can't perform both functions simultaneously. The device features an LCD screen that provides a visual representation of the receive and transmit sections. Let's take a closer look at the LCD screen. On the receive section, you'll find the sound option, which opens up a world of possibilities. This can be used for channel scanning or as a spectrum analyzer, offering insights into the waveforms of the signals being received. Now, let's explore some of the cool things you can do with the Hackoff One Porter Pack HTN. In the Receive section, the sound option can be utilized for channel analysis. You can observe and analyze different frequencies, making it a handy tool for radio enthusiasts and professionals alike. One impressive feature is its use as a spectrum analyzer. By selecting the sound option, you can visualize waveforms of the amplifiers in use. This capability opens up opportunities for identifying and understanding the signals around. In conclusion, the Hackruff One Porter Pack H2 is a versatile and powerful radio device that offers a wide frequency range and a range of... Whether you're into radio exploration, spectrum analysis, or just curious about the signals around you, this device has the potential to be your go-to... Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the Hackref One Porter Pack H2. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. If you have any questions or experiences with the Porter Pack H2, feel free to share them in the comments below. Until next time, happy exploring.